I'm amazed at how life works out. About 45, 46 years ago, I'm sitting in a big room with a lot of big men. It was the first time that I was dressing with the current returning Super Bowl champion Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm sitting next to Mean Joe Green, Jack Lambert, Jack Ham, Terry Bradshaw, Lynn Swan, Mike Webster, Franco Harris, Mel Blunt, John Stallworth, Donnie Shell, Rocky Blyer, Chuck Knoll is the coach. These are all these men are all now in the Hall of Fame. And I will tell you, it wasn't because they were the greatest athletes. I promise you, they were not. They just had this desire. This is what you do to win championships. You do your job. 24 years earlier, my parents had to get married because of me. I effectively ruined their lives, at least that's what I was told by them. Both my mom and dad came from very dysfunctional homes. My dad was raised as a fourth generation alcoholic. Grandpa, my great grandpa, they all had drinking problems and they were all very passive. They allowed the, their, the wives to rule the roost. My mom, I find out, had anger problems. As I was growing up, I became their the person that they beat. Hoping I'm going to be able to get a scholarship to some college. I was turned down dozens of times, too short, too slow, too small. Even though I had, I was all city, I was all district, you know, I was, uh, I, I was a good athlete, but I was just short and, and uh, stubby. Miami had already turned me down. Bowling Green had turned me down. Toledo had turned me down. Michigan and Ohio State had turned me down. Lots of schools had turned me down. I never got a, a, a good letter. And I begged for a spot, but I, in this one, I put my video in there of the last two years, sent it out, and only one coach responded. Coach Bob Rublin from Miami University. Coach calls up and tells me in so many words, he says, Brad, that was pretty bold on your part to send a letter when we've already turned you down. But we have, uh, we looked at the video and we think that there's some potential there. Are you still interested in coming to Miami? Absolutely, coach. Is there any scholarships? No, we don't have any scholarships. But we have an alumni that works in the Toledo area that thinks he might be able to get you a decent paying job was working in the storm sewers underneath the expressway systems of, of, of Toledo. I was the guy that was cleaning out in 1971, cleaning the sewers underneath Toledo and was paid $4.50 an hour. I fought every day. I had to, it was survival. But I would not back down. I didn't care what they were gonna do. I had to have a scholarship. And if I could do well against the number one varsity offense, I would think the coaches would, would recognize that, and they did. After college is over, I, I wanted to play in the NFL. I thought I, I, I could do it. I talked to some scouts and they said, Brad, you got some great stats, but you just don't have the size. You're too small, you're too short, you're too slow. Brad, this is Paul Brown of the Cincinnati Bengals. And he lets me know that you should have been drafted, Brad. We were gonna draft you, but we started thinking no one else was gonna draft them. We can come back afterwards. Chuck Knoll, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the reigning Super Bowl champs was calling and saying, Brad, you know, we think you got a lot of heart. We think you can really do something. Um, we'd like for you to consider coming out and being a free agent. As I left, I told the coach, coach, either play me or trade me. And the next day they waved me. Waved as in cut. and my world came crumbling down. My life changed. God was working in my ways that I cannot begin to comprehend and understand, but I was being transformed from a wild beast to someone that had a heart. You folks make a difference. You make a difference to your kids, you make a difference to your grandkids and your great-grandkids if you've got them. They need to see you.